Hey yo, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and today's video is going to be on how I use Art Breeder. We'll probably look a little bit at some of the stuff I don't regularly use, but we are primarily going to look at portraits in Art Breeder. So, share screen. First up, you need to be on Art Breeder. It's artbreeder.com. We are at artbreeder.com slash create, which means you just click the create button up in the corner. Now, you can do a lot of things with Art Breeder. So general images, portraits, which is the one we're primarily going to focus on. You can work on landscape images, paintings, science slash bio art characters, album covers, you can, it has a furry generator and anime portraits. The one that I primarily use is regular portraits. So we're going to look at that one particularly first. So you have the option, depending on if you have a paid account or not, is Compose, which everyone has. You can upload images to merge them with others. And then you can animate images as well. I use the Compose feature. And I'm going to mess with, there it is, okay. So up here, these are the currently randomly generated images coming from zero selection and only messing with these settings. So over here, the parent images are the images that you will select. You can either select or get random ones. Genes um, will do age, gender, the width of the face. You can do the height of the face. Yaw, pitch, Asian, Indian, black, white, Middle Eastern, Latino, Hispanic, art, is making it more artistic or realistic. You can balance the red, green, and blue. There's also a hue setting, saturation, brightness, sharpness, uh, making it how detailed it is. Is it a little bit fuzzy or is it super sharp, like to the point where you can see pores? Um, you can do um, happy and anger, and then you can adjust blue eye settings. So this also will affect not just the eye color. Um, a lot of these settings, if you change one part of it, it might affect something else. So it's a very fine detail thing. Um, earrings, so you can give characters earrings. Eyes open or closed. The mouth open or closed. Black hair, blonde hair, or brown hair. Does your person have makeup on? Do they have eyeglasses, um, facial hair, or like the hat setting? It adjusts like the hair and stuff for you. Over here is the randomly generated stuff. And then down below, which you can see here, are things that I've made. So when you click select, let me do that again, select. These are things that I have starred things I've created. I haven't uploaded anything, so this is blank. Random will give you a random selection of images from the site. Search means you will search something specific. So we're going to do, um, you can do like gender. So feet, if I could spell female. Or female. Brings up bunch of female images. You can look at trending images that have been used, created and starred. So um, you can star images that are not your own. These ones are images that I have starred and I also created. 
So I like to just start with a random thing. So normally that's what I do, but in this case, we will just go ahead and grab some images that I've created. So these are all people that I've made in here. So we'll use that image and then you will can either base it from the one image you've already selected and adjusted. So when you've done any adjustments, you have to click this purple button here with the, the arrows to change, to include the settings you've done. Okay, we're gonna add another image here. So we will pick, oh, who will we pick? We'll go with her. So then we gotta click this button again. And it's gonna give us three randomly generated based on the criteria we have given it. So this is making the character primarily female. So if we wanted it to be male, we need to add with the up arrow. Up is male, down is female. So in the negatives for this setting, because it's on a two point negative two or plus two system. So you can actually have it in a range of female male. It can be a feminine looking male, a masculine looking female. It doesn't matter. And then, so let's do that. And then let's do, so here are the images, how they are. I did 0.5 for width so that we can look at what it does. So you can see it a little bit more. A little bit more to the face. Okay, so how I personally like to do this is I will adjust these how I want. I'm not going to really adjust them this time. Not really because I'm not actually going to use this person, but it just felt like we're going to do a random person. So if I wanted this person to have blue eyes, which she basically already does, but we're going to go a little bit more blue, change the settings hit the purple button. See, now she really has blue eyes, but it also lightens the skin, um, darkens or lightens the hair. So if I wanted a blue-eyed um, brunette, I'd also have to adjust the settings for brown hair. Let's see. And now the hair kind of looks red in this image, right? So if we want it to be more brunette, we're actually going to have to go to the black hair and adjust that a little bit too. So you have to very finely adjust it. Now I'll see that's a lot more of a brown haired person. Now, if we want this person to be a little bit younger, we'll adjust the age, which is at the top of the list. Click it once or twice. Do it very slowly. Don't do it a bunch or you're gonna end up with the toddler. So we got this person and this person. So I like to take the ones that I like the most. So we're gonna take that one and this one, and then it's gonna randomly generate two more images because I clicked them, but we don't really need any more than that. So I'm gonna reset the genes real quick because I like to do the two parent images and then you have to click create it again because you have to refresh it. I like to take the two or more images that I really liked from the original set of images and combine them and see what I get. And I will do this for however many times it takes, oh, she's pretty, um, to get how I want the character to look. And I actually really like these, so I might keep one of these images. Um, And then you can adjust at any stage. You can choose, like, I want more of this one's face, but this one's style type of thing. And it will adjust that accordingly. So I'm actually going to keep that image. <laughs> so that is how I use Art Reader. Now, 
we're going to go back to create and we're going to take a quick look at some of the other options. I haven't done the painting one before, so this is new to me actually. Um, they're always changing this, so I definitely recommend playing with it and finding a like you have to actually play with it and adjust the settings yourself truly to see how finely you do have to do it. You are able to move the slider as well or enter a number but that's not necessary. I have no idea what this is going to make. Oh, that's cute. Um, and it will take like the data and correlate and create you a new image. So this one just makes you paintings, which is cool. Oh, I like that. I'm going to keep that. Um, I don't need it, but I'm going to keep it. So paintings, landscape. So this would be like, do you want a landscape image? We're gonna, we're gonna give a little snow, okay? I don't know what else we got going on, but we're gonna get some snow up in here. See what we get. And you can, like the others, you can actually, ooh, that's pretty, <laughs> um, that one. You can pick images for all of these to start with and pull data from and adjust the data with the gene generator. I'm gonna just keep those. And you can do that for all of these. So I highly recommend getting on here and playing with it, but you might want to set a timer for yourself because Art Breeder is kind of an addiction. I'm not going to lie. It's very addicting. But yeah, this is how I make characters. Um, so I've made all of these images. Um, you have the ability to use tags. The heart is actually is what they have as starred. I don't know why it doesn't say hearted or hearts, liked, whatever. You can make your own hashtags in there or just assign hashtags to them. So if you go to images, tags, these are the ones that are tagged for blood rain. So, yeah. That is how I use Art Reader. Um, it, sometimes on streams, I'll share the screen and just play with it. So it's really fun to use. And I highly recommend just opening it and playing with it um, to see how you want to use it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video at any point, could you go ahead and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like more content from me? Um, do you use Art Breeder? And do you use it the same way as me? Do you use it differently? Um, have you never heard of Art Breeder? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I do live streams and stuff. Um, my intro video has the live streams wrong because I'm adjusting that schedule. So I have to change that video again, <laughs> but I'm, I'm working on it. So thank you for watching. Hopefully I will be posting videos one to two times a week. I'm going to try and do that. So <laughs> thank you so much and have a good day.